from KGUN TV in Tucson, Arizona, kind of the home of the filmmaking of Westerns. Mm -hmm. A big thank you to you and the Coen brothers, to Paramount, everybody responsible for resurrecting yeah. the grit in the genre. God, well, thank you for that. What a wonderful genre it is, too. Isn't it? Oh, oh, man. Great. You're just saying your dad did a lot of Westerns. Yeah, right? I'll say. A bunch. A b <laughs> yeah. I know. I, he spent a little time in Old Tucson. I'll right? say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I felt, after reading the novel, uh, went through it again, Portis' mm -hmm. novel, that it, this version really captures the essence of the story. Oh, absolutely. That was uh, you know, one of my uh, concerns or curiosities when I first got on board, or when I was invited to come on board, was you know, why the Coen brothers wanted to remake uh, True Grit. You know, that seemed like an odd choice, you know, and they said, no, we're not referring to the movie at all, we're referring to that wonderful book by Charles Portis. When you mean the 1969 John Wayne book? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I had not read the book, and once I did, I saw what they were talking about, because the book, uh, well, it reads like a Coen Brothers script, full oh. of, you know, wonderful plot twists and turns and interesting characters, not your typical Western. Oh. And young Haley. Isn't she something? Unbelievable. Mm. What a performance. Ah, yeah. Just great. Quickly, Rooster's background is a former history teacher. I felt he probably rode with Colonel Quantrill, who started out with good intentions for the Confederacy. Then yeah. They became mercenaries. Yeah. Was this guy, was this his background, you think, pretty much? I think so, but I mean, you know, as, you know, I have, still have a little rooster in me, so as you say, mercenaries, you know, my hackles kind of rise, because yeah, that's kind of yeah. an opinion, you know, I don't well, know. Well, he was I mean, a U.S. Marshal. Hmm? What's that? He was a U.S. Marshal. He was a U. yeah, he was a U.S. Marshal, and he did ride with uh, Quantrill, but, uh, you know, war is a terrible thing, you know. Yeah. Killing people, and, you know. I've got to tell you this story. When John Wayne came... Uh, old Tucson, after he won the Oscar, about 500 people that worked in his film showed up at the airport all wearing eye patches. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, yeah. yeah. yeah for his I birthday or something. I tried to find that picture for you. And I, I yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh, but everybody's going to, that loves Westerns all over the world, are, are just going to enjoy this film from beginning to end. I can't wait till I see it again. I hope so. I, me too. I'm looking forward to seeing it again, too. And Westerns, in my last question, because I'm almost out of time, Jeff, not easy to make. Getting no, the livestock, true. the costumes, it takes all oh, that to yeah. make it successful. That's right. The weather, you know, all of that stuff. You're, you know, you're working, but that all kind of adds to it, you know, that toughness, that, uh, that difficulty. It seems to add to the spirit of making the movie. And you see it up on screen. Now, you know. Would you do another one? Are you kidding me? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if the Coen brothers do one, you know. <laughs> but I love I love making westerns, getting up on the horse. That's great, man. Jeff. Thank you so much. Great talking Don't with you, Jim. True grit. This gentleman is an actor. Doesn't get any better. Wonderful cast. The Coen brothers. It's one of my favorite films of the year. All right. Thank you.